Dave, uh, no Brett today. Can you can you tell us what what happened or why he wasn't able to go today? Yeah, sometime after uh, Monday's injury report, uh, he was uh, ruled out, not able to play this week. I'll have an update again on Monday. Okay, certainly was a, a great start, Dave. You know, you know, running it, throwing it. You know, good plan. Jason looked comfortable. The run game was going, and just couldn't get it going again in the second half. But what was the big difference from between? Uh, just uh, the next on a couple third downs. Uh, you know, got in long yards a couple times. Uh, negative yards on first down. You can't do that. Uh, you know, there, we knew there'd be some struggle somewhere in there. But that overall, he uh, did a nice job executing the offense. Very comfortable. Certainly going to be a great player for us. Excited about uh, how he played today, how he performed his first start. Uh, now, I think it's a tremendous job. It's disappointing for the entire team to uh, play as hard as they did and you know, once again end up getting any point short. So. How frustrating is this getting? You guys have been so close in so many games. So well, it's frustrating from a win loss standpoint. It's not frustrating when I walk into that locker room every single day of the week because. You know, these kids do everything we ask them to do. Mm-hmm. They've never shown up, you know, down now. I mean, they're down now. You know, they, they expected to win the football game. I expect to win the football game. But they won't quit. There's no quitters in the locker room. Um, you know, they'll come back to work tomorrow. You know, still hurt. You know, we'll definitely still hurt. But uh, we'll go back to work uh, on Monday game plan. We'll come out Tuesday. We'll have a great practice on Tuesday. And uh, we'll be ready to get out of the Dave, defensively, especially in the first half, I think he held them to, what, 57 yards rushing, and their plays were actually through the air, and then they were able to get a little bit more in sync in the second half. What, what was, at least from what you could see, what was the well, maybe the uh, big difference? Gave up a couple of big run, or, uh, pass plays in the first half, and that's just being disciplined. We talked about all long, that uh, you know, you've got to keep your eye on the uh, receivers until we you know the ball's out and it's, it's, it's a run, and we let a couple of guys get by us. Um, they got a couple things going second half run game wise. I, you know, I thought you know at times we, we played well, but uh, uh, the big play was the big the third long where they, they got the big play on the quarterback draw. That, that better is you know, stop from there. Certainly would have been advantageous for us. So, then we got you know they got down and, and uh, we got the score, so we tried to get back down and get the field range. Okay, with, with Jason, uh, you said you found out Brett after Monday. So, did you pretty much know it was Jason preparing to be? I mean, I know he's the number two. Was he taking the snaps to be the guy all he, all he's week? Taking the reps to prepare. Yeah. All, all week all from week. from Tuesday. So, how do you think he, you know, handled that and even handled himself? He in, practiced uh, extremely well all week. Mm-hmm. I was very pleased with the way he performed in practice. And uh, it, it's interesting because I talk to these guys all the time. You know, play like a practice. Well, he, he, he certainly played like a practice. He practiced well, he prepared well, and he played well. Part of the production today out of DJ Mage and Sean Wick, what did you think of the way they ran the ball? I thought that they both ran extremely hard. I'm real pleased to you know, play with three true freshmen back there, quarterback, two running backs, I thought all three of those kids uh, uh, did a phenomenal job. And uh, I think they're all three going to be uh, tremendous players for us in the, you know, probably the very near future, and might be now. If I know I'm not asking you to play doctor but with Brett's prognosis, so you're confident you'll, you'll get him back this season? Is, I, I, is, it, any, is it anything yeah, that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll get him back. We'll okay. get him back. I'll, I'll know more Monday for this next week. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm, I'm confident he'll, he'll be back. Okay. Tough to see without the film day, but did they make any big adjustments defensively that kind of slowed you guys down in the second half? No, I don't think it was uh, what they did as much as you know, our lack of execution on a few plays. We executed extremely well in the first half, and uh, they have been sent back in the second half. I did learn a new trick, though, that, you know, if you, if you want to save time, which means you have a guy walk across the field and 10 yards away, tell him to fall down and lay there for three minutes so you don't have to use a timeout and you can get everything ready for your next play. And then, um, you know, even if it looks like he's dying, you can get him back, stand back up and go back in the next play. It's a pretty good trick. You can really question ethics when people do that stuff. I've, I've heard about that in the NFL. I haven't seen it yet in college football. It appeared there was a little animosity between you Coach Calhoun after the game. Was that kind of the source of it? Well, I, I, again, I question, uh, you know, their ethics. When you have a player that has no problem walking 20 yards across the field and two, five yards from your sideline falls on the ground, lays there, has to have three people around him like he's having his leg amputated, and is fresh to go the next play. Wouldn't you question that? Is the defensive player or an offensive player? The quarterback. Okay. His helmet came off, and they laid him on the ground over there after walking over there. I'm sure I'll get in trouble for, for questioning. That's not what I'm trying to teach our kids. Any other questions? Okay.